All right, so we welcome everyone again to Crypto Safu. And the purpose of this community is to make sure everyone learns and become a crypto elite, meaning that we want to make sure everyone knows how to deal with cryptocurrency in this space safely. And at the same time, we want to make sure everyone become a professional or expert when it comes to cryptocurrency and how to use this new technology so tonight our host is asman i'll be giving him the mic to tell us and teach us the difference between centralized exchange and decentralized exchange so asman i you have the mic now you have the thank you thank you very much bashir and thank you very much participants for joining Thank you very much for having me here. So my name is Asnan. I am actually a crypto consultant. Um, I help uh, projects with listing, marketing, uh, listing on centralized exchange, decentralized exchange. I have a crypto uh, consultancy firm as well as I work for CoinStore. It is a centralized exchange among top 40. So the topic for today is like Often you're gonna hear about centralized exchange, decentralized exchange, sex versus dex. So this is like a one of the hot uh, hottest debates in the crypto space. So there are obviously some smell- similarities uh, among centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges, and at the same time there are some fundamental differences. So we are going to talk about first what is a centralized exchange, what is a sex. So, uh, actually, in the crypto space, the primary exchanges who initiated, like, for example, in the beginning, when people wanted to buy or sell, the uh, first option that they had was centralized exchanges, especially when it got popular after 2016-17. So, the majority of the exchanges in the market are centralized exchanges. They are more popular than DEXs. Uh, and then it is run by a centralized intermediary. It's like an entity. So there is like a an, an centralized organization that actually operates a centralized exchange. Orders are completed with the help of order book. So there is an order book where buy and sell orders are recorded in this order book. And each and every completed order is recorded in the centralized exchange database. And then also the information about users, for example, my name, uh, my email, my phone number is also saved on the uh, centralized exchange SEXIS database on this servers. Also, one of the benefits of SEX is easy to use. It is custodial. So I am not going to hold my funds, I cannot say that I have the 100% uh, holding of my funds or custody if I'm having money on centralized exchange. So the centralized exchange entity is holding it for me. So in job of a centralized exchange is to store users funds one to one. For example, let's say that I have 100 USDT I deposit on a centralized exchange from let's say my wallet. So their job is to keep that $100 one to one. So this is like their fundamental job and they can, they shouldn't use it. Of course it's in their wallet. So they have the ability to misuse it. So this is why regulation comes in. Of course, we're going to talk about regulation later, but I'm just giving a brief introduction about sexes right now. So uh, the popular centralized exchanges, as everyone knows, like Binance, OKX, OB. So these are the popular ones. And of course, there are much more, many, many more centralized exchanges. Also, they do KYC. So they're going to ask you for a passport to do verification or an ID card. And as well as they have anti-money laundering policy AML. So this is like a, in a nutshell, what a centralized exchange is. Okay, so moving on we talk about decentralized exchange. So it is not a central entity, a DEX. Transactions are recorded on a blockchain. Trading is done using smart contracts and orders are executed on chain. 
So on centralized exchange, on sex, the orders are recorded in the order book on the and it is all the transactions are recorded in the database of the centralized exchange, their own servers. But on a DEX, everything is recorded on a blockchain and orders are executed with the help of smart contracts. There is no KYC. There is no AML, like no no your customer KYC stands for no your customer and anti -man money laundering policy. It doesn't apply on DEXs. And sometimes um, different DEXs, they use automated market making, AMM. This is a completely different topic, but I'll just give you an intro. So this AMM is actually a tool that is used to conveniently complete orders on DEXs uh, using liquidity pools. So and also liquidity pools are also uh, set up with the help of smart contracts. So these are the fundamental differences. And then if we go further, for example, in terms of access. So DEX, you have self control with your own private keys. You, uh, if you have the keys, you own 100% of your crypto. And then if you lose keys on a DEX, uh, you cannot recover. So this is like a minus for DEXs. Then for sex, uh, the centralized entity, it controls and stores um, your information, uh, your uh, crypto, your assets. And then for example, if you lose DEXs, you can recover it using this port. For example, if you create an account on Binance, you forget the password, you can recover it through email and for example, still, if you face some issues, you can contact the support team and they can help you. So this is like a plus. So it's beginner friendly. Dexes are beginner friendly. Dexes are not beginner friendly because it is more complicated. Sometimes people make mistakes. They transfer money to wrong addresses. So they lose 100% of their funds. And then, of course, sometimes they can lose the keys as well. Okay. So then one advantage of uh, DEX is that you can, it can automatically convert one crypto with another on multiple blockchains. So for example, if there is, I have a token which is based on Binance Smart Chain and I want to exchange it with another token which is based on maybe some, um, for example, Cardano Chain. So I can do it through a DEX, but the centralized exchanges, their ability is limited. They can do it, but they will have to do the integration first. Like they will have to integrate with that blockchain. So after the integration is done, we can do it. But this is the limitation of centralized exchange. Okay. And then uh, sex is they have a one big advantage. It enables futures trading, margin trading. Also, you can set stop loss and take profit there. So this is not available on DEX. And uh, usually there are big traders who trade on futures, margin to earn profit. They use a lot of money. Sometimes they lose, sometimes they earn. So this is a good advantage of centralized exchange. Okay, then if we talk about regulation, so centralized exchanges, taxes are more regulated. Dexes are, there's no regulation at all. Nothing applies to them. There's no KYC. There's no M AML. They don't come under regulation from any country. So this is also one of the reasons that sexes are more popular. In terms of security, so sexes, they store user funds. They have a risk of being hacked. And if they, for example, are hacked and someone steals the money from centralized exchange wallets, we will lose our money. So users will uh, lose money. Uh, this is why decentralized exchanges they sometimes keep money in cold wallets so cold wallets are those kind of wallets that are not connected with the internet they are stored in a hard drive which is disconnected from the internet so this is you know a safety measure taken by success okay and also centralized exchanges if they are not so transparent they can do fall play. So one of the biggest examples is FTX.
X. I have a centralized exchange um, based in the US. Of course, they had US exchange separately, exchange for outside US separately. And what they did, their job was to keep users funds one to one. So if I deposit money, they have to keep it. But what they did is they took the user money and used it in some other ventures. They may be invested in some other projects and then they also send some money to their trading firm that traded against the users. Eventually, they had liquidity issues when the market went down and they went bankrupt. So sometimes centralized exchanges can have a fall play. This is why regulation is very necessary. So it all depends on transparency. For example, Benas is very transparent. Whenever something happens, they write very quickly. They explain very quickly. Their CEO is very active, CZ Banas. So people trust them more. And this is why Banas is 10 times bigger than the second big, big, biggest exchange. Transparency is very important in terms of success. Uh, so they have two big uh, security issues. One is they can be hacked. Second, they can do fraud. Um, but at the same time, they are regu regulated. So they can be regulated. And uh, for example, the people in the FTX US who lost money, they will get their money back. Maybe not 100%, but at least 60 to 70%, even if it went bankrupt. Okay. So then on DEX, it's not regulated by any firm. But one advantage is that you own your crypto. There's a famous term, not your keys, not your crypto. So if you are keeping money on a DEX and you have your keys, the code words written somewhere, maybe you have written it on a paper. As long as you have that, you have access to your funds and no one, anyone in the world cannot take your funds. So you give them those keys mistakenly or intentionally. Okay, then the last thing that I would like to talk about is the liquidity. So liquidity is the ability to sell or buy a token or a crypto. So like a coin or token. So for example, if I buy a token and if I go to a go to a certain exchange, if I want to sell it, uh, it is the order is executed right away. For example, I want to get USDT in, in return for that token. So this is like called a strong liquidity because I can cash it out. Or if I want to buy the token with USDT, they have available tokens. So this is also like we can call it a liquid asset that can be bought and sold conveniently. So in terms of liquidity, DEX is they have low liquidity uh, because of low participation. Because it was a little bit for users, new users to get used to. This is why um, like signing up on a DEX, creating an account, creating your keys, then understanding how to make a swap ETC, and understanding the fees, it is complicated. So many people, they don't move towards DEXs. So they just create an account, just like you create an account on a bank. So obviously it's easier than a bank. If you go to a centralized exchange, you just sign up, download the application, sign up with your email, and you're ready to go. You can deposit, you can buy and sell crypto conveniently. So this is why the centralized exchanges, success, they have high liquidity because it's easy to use. Number two is because they have features and margin trading. So uh, this gives uh, traders ability to borrow money and then place bets. So billions of dollars are traded like this. And this is why they have higher liquidity. Also, exchanges can execute large orders. So, and DEX is sometimes they don't have this capability because their liquidity pools are smaller. And then more than 95% of trading is done on Sexis as of now because they are more popular, easy to use. So it really depends in conclusion. So now I'm coming to the conclusion. In conclusion, you need an exchange to buy or sell crypto. Now, depends on your preferences. For example, if you want to do, let's say, margin trading, futures trading, um, you would like to maybe use a trading bot to buy and sell crypto on spot uh, on different spot accounts. So in that case, you can go for centralized exchanges.
but for example if you're skeptical and you you know mostly believe in decentralization you want to own your crypto so that you're 100 safe then what you can do is the next but do your research first everyone has to do their research first for even about centralized exchange which exchange you're choosing because there are many that will have many issues for example if you go on a smaller exchange that is like number 600 or 700 in ranking they may sometime block the deposits or withdrawals of a token so they have this ability to do it but on dex it is not possible you can always withdraw or you know move your funds from a dex wallet to anywhere so uh, all in all do your research read about what is a sex what is a dex what are the benefits and then uh, decide by yourself what suits best according to your plans and then you can create an account maybe you can use both so it's up to you so awareness is everything in crypto and always always treat your money with respect whenever you're investing focus on education focus on reading more focus on asking questions and then once you understand everything then you can make a move with your money so with that uh, i thank you all for listening and i yield my time thank you very much bashir and the community looking forward to having another conversation in the future all right thank you so much asma the 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 topic and the way you broke but you, you've broken them down is very very on point so we really appreciate you coming to our community to give us some insights about how this uh, exchanges works and what makes the differences between these exchanges thank you so much so before you before leave you... uh thank okay you. Want... are you welcome so before you leave before you... i would like to know I'll... if I would like to know if we have anyone who is um, having question to ask Asnan uh before he leaves yeah So if you are listening to these uh, Montana Miles Shelby Starbucks uh MX do you have any question or doubt about what I've been said so far like uh i believe everyone is straight uh to uh, the point yes and there is a recording so i think uh like people can listen later and i'm also in the group so whenever anyone wants to ask a question you can ask a question and as soon as i will see it i will definitely give a reply all hmm. right so that will be helpful so because i don't want to really take your time tonight because i know you are very busy so uh what we are left with is just to organize our giveaway for tonight and if there is any question we all can ask before we close uh the section for tonight okay do we have anyone who is about to speak all right cool so what we are going to be doing is i'm going to be answer to, to this, everyone is free to answer and as none you help us to pick a winner for the question so who can tell me uh the best exchanges to to trade or to have your funds uh kept when you are thinking about safety and security first hello 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 uh, mx we can hear you yeah my answer should be uh sex okay so if you are saying sex what makes you say it is sex okay so <laughs> that's all that's all that's all right. hello 
Hello, wait. I'll, yeah, wait. Uh, we are still with Amex. So tell, tell us the reason why you pick Amex. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sex. When you have your funds in sex, that means okay. you're not in control of that fund. That means someone else is uh, is is the one holding it for you. So you cannot make a decision without informing uh, uh, the organization holding the fund for you. Except in so, cases. Um, all right. So, like back to my question. My question is talking about safety and security measures, which is more safer, sex or DEX, centralized exchange or decentralized exchange? You said centralized exchange, right? Yeah, centralized, yes. Centralized, okay, cool. And you said the reason for picking your answer is that? Because you're not the one in charge of your token, of your assets. Okay. So Someone else is handling your assets. So can... We have someone else who wants to give us an answer as well. Shelby, I'm going to allow you to speak. MX, we've gotten your answer to the question. So I'm going to allow Shelby to speak briefly. We don't want to waste time on this so we can round up within three minutes left. All right. So um, Shelby, tell us the answer um, you have for the question. Okay. Uh... Uh, hello, good evening, guys. Good evening. Well, um, you. Okay. Um. Um. My my own, uh, my own perspective. Uh, um. According to what uh, um Azan um according to his explanation, I, I think okay. this is the best. This is the best. Is the best way, you know, to keep your funds. You know, you are you are the one in charge, and um and uh, it can be act. You have. I I think you have total control of your fund, index. A change like no no was no you know there, there was a time um binance was um maybe freezing people account or something like you can't withdraw your funds you can't do that but um such scenarios can't happen on dex i i i get my point yes we got your point we've got yes, your point and, so thank you yeah, I, I, I don't want to take your shots okay so okay. go on Okay, and even about the the safety, uh, the, uh, the your key phase, even is um no like no no uh, unless uh, unless you give it, unless you give it out, no nobody can know your key your um phase key like it's hundred percent secured, uh, unless you just maybe you you ne neglect it or at your own will. So so I'll I'll go for Dex. All right, cool. So do we have any? Alternative answer to this um, question. Do we have anyone who still want to attempt uh, to answer the question? The question once again is, which is safer? And talking about security measure, which one will you go for between centralized exchange and decentralized exchange? Uh, it's the little I've learned so far. It's, um, it should be DEX because DEX cannot be hacked. At sea and but but centralized exchange is more open to attacks, Mr. which might actually cause huge losses for users. Okay, cool. So Miles and Shelby is going for DEX and the reasons are different. While MX said centralized exchange is safer based on his own reasons as well. All right, so I think that will be all for tonight. So I'll give Asnan. Uh, the mic to give us who answers uh, the question correctly. So, Asnan, can you tell us the correct answers and who answers the question uh, the best uh, with the best approach? Sure. So, the short answer would be DEXs are more safe. Um, okay. If you would like to, uh, of course, you need to set your priorities. So what do you want? If you want to just hold the crypto for a long time and you don't want to make any moves, no buying, selling, no margin trading, no futures trading, uh, then in that case, uh, obviously, DEX, just create an account on a DEX, get your keys, buy, uh, keep your money there, and it will be 100% safe. No one can touch it. But for example, if you want to 
uh, buy sell you want to do futures trading you want to do margin trading to earn some profit with leverage then you can go for centralized exchanges but at the same time you're going to have to pick the best ones top ones that have a good track record so this is this would be my explanation all right so in that case i think uh shelby and my are the winner for tonight uh uh um for tonight's giveaway so we are going to be distribu- distributing the reward for you guys in the group just drop your wallet mx you had a nice attempt but uh next time uh just uh g- yeah we appreciate your attempt as well so but just wait for next time uh give us another answer if you get it correctly you get to win a giveaway in form of bnb reward so that is how we do it every class section and yeah so very nice thank you so much for everyone who have joined thank you so much asnan who has given us uh a good coach about knowing quite the difference between centralized exchange and dex so everyone who participate everyone off and the winner of our giveaway as well we appreciate you guys as well so i think for shelby and my answering the question correctly we'll be sending two dollars in form of bnb each to you guys so that is how we're going to do it for tonight so we appreciate your attempt to the question and we appreciate everyone effort to attend and learn something new actually i've gained some 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 quite uh good thing about uh centralized exchange as well knowing about the aml knowing about the ama market making so you can read about it uh later after we've ended this and you can also watch this video because it is being recorded we are going to upload it on our youtube uh so you can go to our youtube channel at uh crypto safu and you know you can also try to give us some tweets participation on our twitter and do at get crypto safu as well so everyone we are going to be ending this tonight thank you asnan again asnan is a group if you have any message message concerning centralized exchange that is his field and is an expert there you can just tag him and ask him any question bothering your mind in the group and crypto kaba is also with us these are professional and expert guys who can actually help in solving any problem or answering any question in the group miles mx montana david shelby Starbossy, everyone is appreciated for joining tonight's call so we are going to be wrapping this up and yeah we call it a day so good night guys <laughs>